Uh, I don't think it's abysmal. I would say that, uh, yeah, we are on our way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, in BRS, they've barely given seven uh, women tickets. Okay, in the B BRS. Well, the Congress also hasn't done really well, but well, well, I, mean, I see you campaigning, so it's a relief to know that women are in the forefront. Yes, absolutely. As you can see in Congress, I can comment about Congress, yes, we are out in full force. We are uh, on our way to the top, as as you know. Uh, the Telangana Congress is doing very well, both in rural as well as urban Telangana. But what, why I said it's uh, uh, we are on our way is because uh, a lot of young women have joined us. Yeah, I uh, see a lot of women who are camping with you. Yes. So many of them are first-time voters. Many of them are old uh, Congress workers. Women who have over a... Uh, over a stretch of decades, been with the Congress, been politically active, and have of course gone through their life, their professions, but yet remain Congress karyakartas. I have greatest respect for them, and they have joined us. I have in Sanatnagar constituency, which I represent uh, in as, as a Congress candidate. Uh, I have gone to every house requesting young girls, mothers, wives women who generally do not get out of the house to come and join the yeah, election yeah. Uh, fray. But, but how, how do they resonate with you? What are the women's issues that you're raising here uh, for, yeah. the, for women of Telangana? No, of course, we have a plethora of issues for for uh, for which we have solutions in the right. Congress. Women, and we, women specific. Women specific yeah. manifestos, women specific agenda we have. But what's interesting, Nabila, is that uh, uh, I'll give you one example. So. When in one of the events, uh, the women were able to sit outside in chairs uh, and wait for you know various uh, events to happen, d have discussions with various leaders, including you know when I came, they were able to have a cup of tea with me, discuss their problems, how they perceive, for instance, uh, what the BRS government has been doing. Uh, it has been a, 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 a kind of a, a revelation to get the women perspective on how bad the BRS government has been. And that has been missing from the narrative. So women have been able to come out of their homes or I would say that come out of their spaces and join the political discourse because there are women candidates in Congress. Now I do not see this happening in any other party, which is why I said there is a difference between Congress and BRS. BRS says that we've championed, K. Kavita says we, I have fought for the women's reservation bill. So what are you saying? I'm, I'm all for the women of the state. Well, I mean, uh, she is, of course, the chief minister's daughter, and the Telangana people are used to hearing her one-sided story uh, for the last several years. Uh, every woman of Telangana knows that whatever this person says goes as the rule, but it's not necessary that it is the truth. Um, the general arrogance of the BRS leaders, especially of the chief minister's family, is very well known across Telangana. So when they come out with election promises, as they have done, soon after the Congress made these promises, they just copied those promises and came out with the promises. Nobody believes them. Nobody believes them. And first of all, women do not believe them. Because uh, whether it is Madam Kavita or others, a few others, there are not too many women in BRS. Yeah. And they, their idea of women empowerment is giving sarees on festivals or just, you know, just giving just enough for the women to be their women around them to be slightly happy that's all it is not to empower there is no emancipation on the horizon you know it is just to it's one of those gimmicks if i i may use the word it is just that now after nine years of this women understand this most importantly everyone understands this that's one of the reasons why you see a congress wave in telangana this congress wave if you uh, if you see historically, is a continuation of the Telangana movement. The ideas of and Telangana I know that the, yeah, well, Telangana movement had a lot of women who sacrificed uh, for the Telangana movement, but we hardly see anyone in power uh, or or those who have been glorified. Only the men, yes, yes. the men have found their position in the state, but women who fought for Telangana separate state uh, seem to be in the shadows. Absolutely. Uh, a quick word on what the promises you'll make for women if Congress comes to power. I just want to I just want to comment back on what you had just said that why are the women who participated in the agitations why are they not part of the political you know the political yeah, landscape? Yeah. It's primarily because there has been just one party which has been dominating the political landscape and that's been the BRS. The Congress, on the other hand, has a lot of uh, people who have participated in this Telangana agitation in the party fighting this election, no, including no. women. So 
that is on on the on the congress side we are trying our best right. it's the brs which has kept the women out kept the men in it is a dorala party as they say so okay. it's a man's party you know <laughs> so uh, yes the promises most interesting promise is that of uh, giving 2500 rupees uh, 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 per woman yeah. which is a very important thing we all know i mean even the world bank and all the agencies which work in development for decades and you know mm -hmm. uh, developing countries have said that financial freedom financial independence will will improve the status of women right. and that's what we are trying to do right. that by giving them directly uh, a, a kind of a financial support yeah. you are going to give them some agency yeah. over their own lives and their decisions and right. that's one of the most critical promises of course we have the uh, we have the cylinder gas cylinder for 500 rupees now the question is that the question with the women ask mm. and this is this is very critical yeah. because financial matters people usually think that women do not get into it yeah. but women ask this question yeah. that where has been the 700 rupees extra which the telangana government has been taking from us mm. telangana women have been paying 1200 rupees per cylinder almost 1200 1100 plus yeah. so the question they ask is if congress is able to give 500 rupees in karnataka per cylinder why are we paying the 700 extra mm. per each cylinder mm. and where has that money been going so this is something which the women ask the women also ask what about the ration which they were supposed to be getting you know they earlier times there were nine items which were being given by the congress party now they are getting just a handful of rice yeah. that adds to their bills so if you if you look at the financial budget the budget of a household it's yeah. the woman who's in charge right. and that's one of the reasons why the condition of the telangana government with its mounting debt right. it's reflected in the woman's budget of the house yeah. so it's the woman's budget is a woman's decision which is going to decide the verdict of this elections in telangana nayla